So if you're just getting started with 3D or you're looking to present your work in a really, really nice way, this mock-up is just for you. So if you're familiar with our products already, then you'll know that we've got a whole bunch of 3D clothing mock-ups already. And this is our new one. So again, this is another collaboration with Future Deconstruction. So this mock-up is a nice step up from the previous one. So you've got a bunch of new options as well. So not only is this a new 3D model, we've actually introduced a whole load of new themes. So we've got some new poses and we've got some new scenes that I want to show you. So we're going to jump right into that now. So as you'll see, we've got this one all ready to go. And this is just the model on its own and this is with the hood down if we go up to the top then you'll see that we've got the clothes base here so at the moment we've got this one switched on so you can see here we've got the we've got the render camera and we've got the eyeball active so if we switch those off then you'll see we switch to a hood up view so that's quite a nice one so you have the option to have your hood up or hood down depending on what works best for your design what works best for the way that you're presenting your graphics so then we've got some other poses as well. So we've got the run pose. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deactivate this one and I'm going to stick the run pose on. So at the moment there's nothing on in here so I'm just going to switch these on. So you'll see again that we've got the what option with the hood up. So this is quite an active pose. It's very different to what you'd usually get. And um, yeah, so this is something that's nice to stand out from the crowd a little bit. We can do that again with the hood down. So that's how that looks down. And then we've got another pose as well. And this is a falling pose, which is quite a cool one. So we're going to switch this one off by ticking that. And we're going to go into here. This is already ticked, but we can go in here. And what I quite like about this one is when it rotates, it's just got that sort of matrix type feel to it, which is quite cool. Um, and this is it with the um, hood down as well. So you've got those two views with the hood up, hood down on each different view. So we've got the falling pose, we've got the running pose, and then we've got the standard straight on pose. So just for the interest of this video, I'm going to go through and work on the standing straight on pose just because I think it's the most common one that's going to be used um, when presenting your work. So we can switch all these other ones off um, just by ticking this. So as always, the first thing that we want to do is go and add our artwork. So you can see that we've got the animation pre-built for you already as well. But this time, this one just flows through continuously, so it doesn't ease in and ease out. So it's got that nice continuous loop. So I'd be interested to hear what you guys think about that, whether you prefer that or whether you prefer the ease in and ease out. Um, but a few of you had asked for that, so we thought we'd throw it in there as well. So if we open up the hoodie UV, then we can just stick something on here again. All these are for is to place your artwork. Don't save it down with these visible. These are literally just here to show you where to position your artwork. When it comes to saving it down, make sure that this layer, which at the moment is called layer one, is hidden. So I'm just going to change this to hide me, just to give it a little bit of a reminder. Let's just chuck some fonts on here for now. So I'm going to use the Cybertrek font by Expire. So you can get this font on the store if you're interested. It's quite a nice cyber type feel, and I think it will work quite nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck this over on the chest as well. I'm going to put that over on the left breast. Also going to chuck it over here on the pocket, on the pouch. And let's whack it down the sleeve as well. So I'm just kind of rushing through this just to give you a bit of an idea of, you know, what to expect. So I'm just going to put it on one sleeve as well for now. And then we're going to put something underneath it as well. So we're just going to put a little bit of uh, placeholder text. All right, something like that, that'll do. Um, what we might do actually is I'm just gonna put this on the top just to balance it out a little bit, a bit annoying. But um, if you're not new to Photoshop, you probably know what, won't know what I mean, but this bar didn't used to be here and it is now. I don't know if I like it or not. I'm sure I'll get used to it. So we'll put that there. Um, let's put this over on the chest as well. That'll do for now. So remember now we need to switch off this background. So I'm going to save that down and then I'm going to go and click save for web. You can just export as whatever you do. For some reason I just have an old habit of doing save for web. Make sure you save it down as the same size as well. Don't tweak it. Don't make it smaller. Don't make it bigger. Just leave it as is. And then just change the, um, just change the name of it. So I'm just going to chuck it on my desktop for now. Uh, so it's easy to get to for this tutorial. And then I'm going to go back into Blender. And we're going to go and locate 
the model. When we've got that activated, you'll see that this comes up. So we want to click on this little icon here that enables Blender to know that we're going to be updating that artwork. And then we're going to go to the desktop and we're going to locate that artwork. Now you notice that we can't see it. The reason why, and this is just for you if you're using Blender for the first time, is because we're in these viewing modes at the top. So we've got the wireframe one on the far left. We've then got this one that we're currently on at the moment, which is the solid model. So again, you're not going to be able to see your artwork with this one. But then these two, this material preview gives you a, like a, an idea of how the shading works. Um, and then you've got the live render view as well. So it's a bit of an idea of what it's going to look like once you've rendered it. So under this, where it says slot one, you've got all the different areas of the hoodie that you can change. So we'll go through them in a bit, but I just need to go here and go to the hoodie pocket and I'm going to update the artwork for that. So I'm going to click the same thing, click that icon, click OK, and then go through into here and I'm going to locate my artwork file and drop that in there. The good thing about doing this is now I've got my artwork on here. I can see how things are starting to look. So I would say that this back print is a little bit too high. So I might bring that down a touch and this area here is too repetitive with that. So I'm going to take that off or I'm going to customize that slightly. Um, I did have the artwork on the sleeve to start with over on this side, but I've now switched it to that side so it balances out. So it's nice things like that that you can do and just, just to give you a little bit of an idea of how things are going to look on the real garment. And you don't necessarily get that when you're just kind of freestyling it like this. So what I'm going to do to tweak this is I'm just going to minimize this so it's a bit more like an icon. I'm going to make that much smaller and then I'm just going to break this down into two lines just to give it a different feel. And then I'm going to bring that down to the same height as that line. So I'm going to save this down as a new file just so it doesn't conflict with anything that I've already done. Um, and then I'm going to go and update that artwork to the one with a number one next to it now. Okay, so I think that's looking a lot better on the back now. I brought that down slightly. So I think that's looking, looking much nicer. So if we wanted to go and change the color of this, of course we can. Um, we just need to go and use the sliders here. So that will do each individual panel. You've got the main hoodie there. You've obviously got the, so you've got this section inside as well. So you've got that double lined effect. You then got the hood as well. So you can change that to any color you like. So make, let's make this a totally white garment. Um, and then we want to get the inside so the pocket, I'm going to make that white, make the cuffs white. Also, we can do the stitching as well. So we can set the stitch into be any color. So let's say, just to exaggerate the point, that you could have it red, for example. And I'll zoom right in so you can see that. So if that was your thing and you wanted to do something like that, then you totally could. So you've got this full customization over everything. Um, but for now, let's keep that as something gray, for example. We'll put that in the middle. And then the inside, let's change that as well to white. So our hoodie is all white now. So what we want to do is um, we're going to go and change the artwork. So I'm just going to put all this in a group just for speed. And then I'm going to change the color to something a bit more, more vibrant. So let's go with a light, nice bright red. And then I'm going to go and save my artwork down. And obviously just going to call it red. And we'll go back over to Blender. And we're going to go back in to each slot and update it with the red artwork. Okay, so you'll see that I've got the red artwork placed on it, but it's not very visible. So it's got like a little bit of a, a pinky tone to it where we actually saved it down as like a bright red. And if we go to the live render view as well, you'll see the same thing is happening. So because we've got a white garment with the red text on there, it's not sitting so well. So what we need to do is connect alpha here. So we need to connect alpha to print transparency. And then we want to do that on every single one. So for example, that's the pocket one. So you can see that's nice and solid red now. Then we need to go back to the hoodie main one, connect that one, print transparency as well. Now you can see that's a really good solid red. If we go back to this view, you'll see that you get all these kind of weird effects. This is just something that's annoying with Blender. You'll be able to see what's actually accurate in this view here. If you wanted to speed up your workflow as well, if you're not wanting to render all of this in the background, you can go and switch the room off and then it will just be your hoodie and that will be a much quicker way of working. So we've also got some recommended render settings at the moment. So this is an option if you're looking to do something low res, just get it done nice and quickly. Tight timelines, for example. This is another option for medium. This would probably be good for something like Instagram or social media, for example, um, or Behance. 
And then this is for a high res. This would be what you'd want to use to like present your work to a client or, you know, really, really push the uh, resolution up. If you wanted to create the renders, obviously you then go up here and you've got render image and render animation. You can go ahead and watch this video here, which goes into a lot more detail on how to use this from a beginner's perspective as well. So also another thing, if you wanted to work through the different views as well, then uh, you don't need to update the artwork or anything. You can just switch that off. And then you've got the um, the run pose here. So if you go into clothes run, you can switch that view on, or you can have this one on with the running. Um, and same with the falling as well. So you can see how those are gonna look. So finally, there's just one more thing that I want to show you, and that is the scenes. So if we go down to the rooms, we're gonna switch that back on. At the moment, we've got the metal room, which is uh, that sort of like nice dystopian type of type of look what we've also got now a new one is the room of rocks and this is a really nice one so this has got that sort of gritty look to it so you've got a few different views you can have this rocky ground you can have the rocky ground too so there's there's two options there you can layer that up and actually quite it looks quite nice with the uh the ring light sticking through there as well so it's quite a unique look and then um, we've got the water as well, so you can get those reflections as well. So that'll look really nice once you've rendered that down. As, um, as I say, this is like a render preview. So this is just like a noisy version of what it's gonna look like. But it just goes to show what you can really do with this and how you can present your work in a really, really nice, high impactful way. So we hope you like this mock-up. Really looking forward to seeing what you guys make of it. Don't forget to tag Future Deconstruction and Studio N8 with anything that you cook up. We always love to see what you make. And any questions, drop them in the comments. And feel free to explore all the other 3D mockups that we've got as well. We'll be adding so many more in the future as well, so keep an eye on this. And don't forget to like and subscribe to be notified when we drop more products like this. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy this product, and we look forward to seeing what you guys make using it.